pro-Palestinian demonstrators continue their encampment protest at McGill University. They want the school to divest from companies it says are profiting from the war in Gaza. Earlier today, we saw dueling protests, pro-Israeli demonstrators on one side and pro-Palestinian on the other, with police officers set up between them. While talking to reporters today, Quebec Premier François Legault said the encampment at McGill is illegal and should be dismantled. What are you asking police to do? To uh, uh, dismantle encampments. Right now? At the time that they will judge that will be the right one. So let's talk about the legal aspects of what the Premier said. With legal commentator Frédéric Berard in Montreal, he is a partner at the Montreal law firm Gattuso Bouchard Mazon and a graduate of McGill University. Frédéric, good of you to take the time. Thank you. Thanks to you. So you heard the Premier there. He was quite clear when asked. He thinks that the police should move in. You watched that live. Uh, what was your reaction? <laughs> Well, that's a very severe statement from a premier, right? Uh, we had the decision from the Superior Court of Quebec yesterday saying uh, that freedom of speech should prevail. There was nothing illegal there. There was nothing dangerous in terms of uh, security. So uh, I think it's a very um, serious encroachment from the premier into something that uh, does not belong to him, which is the judicial power. So tell me a little bit about that, because is the issue uh, that these protests are encampments in that there are people, they're not showing up for hours at a time, they are kind of there overnight, staying for long periods of time. Does that change the aspect or the definition of what a legitimate protest could be? No. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that for some certain people it's, it's maybe like kind of too much, but... It should not be considered as a, um, a breach uh, of a fundamental right, which is the freedom of speech. Uh, don't forget that we're talking about the university campus here. So I think that we want our students, we want a society where uh, universities can be used as for uh, that, that same freedom of speech, and they have the right to say what, they, what they're saying right now, as long as they don't... Um, they don't, um, let's say, fail into some kind of hatred speech and all that. This is one of the limits of the freedom of speech. But as for the rest, uh, they have the right to exercise what they have the right to do what they do right now. And the Superior Court, court was pretty clear yesterday about it. And, and so when the premier says the encampment is illegal, that this is McGill's uh, property, uh, that the, the, the encampment should be dismantled, wh what do you think? But don't forget that the freedom of speech is uh, protected by the Canadian Charter of Rights and by the Quebec Charter of Rights. If you take a look at the property rights, it is not a fundamental right. So in other, in other words, freedom of speech should prevail over, uh, over the property right. And uh, again, um, I, I think that we need to be very careful about that right, about the, the, the freedom of speech, because the, our democracy is based on it. And even though some people do not like the, the, the speech itself, they don't, they don't agree with it, doesn't matter. The freedom of speech should apply in any, any circumstances, except, obviously, hatred speech and, and things like this. And, you know, uh, Frederic, uh, uh, we, he we heard from the federal justice minister, Ari Ferrani, uh, earlier. It was interesting what he had to say in English, but then I was re I'm reading the transcript of what he had to say in French, and I'm doing a quick uh, translation of, of it because the reporters were saying, is it legitimate for a politician to give directives to uh, police? Does, is that worrisome? What do you think of what Monsieur Le Mr. Legault had to say? And he basically says, it's extremely necessary to hold the line on uh, interference with the police because these are operational decisions that should be the police uh, decisions and, and that they're, that is what kind of divides us. So that's what separates us as a, as a country where we respect the rule of law. So um, what do you make of, of that kind of argument from the federal justice minister? He did say, he did say it's provincial jurisdiction. I'm not, I'm not you know, but he, as a concept, that's what he had to say. I think we do have a very wise minister of justice right now. I do agree with him 100%. And it's very dangerous 
Um, and I, I repeat myself, but you don't want a premier to tell police what to do, especially when it's about the freedom of speech. It's not his job. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous precedent. We don't want that in Canada. We want uh, the, the court to say what it has to say in terms of, of fundamental rights. Mm -hmm. And it did yesterday. So now we need to respect it and let those protesters do what they have to do. And why is it dangerous? Are, are you concerned that having the premier kind of come out and say this, that this yeah. is like a signal to Montreal's police that they should listen to him or? Mm. Well, actually, uh, do we want a society where the premier decide what we decides what what can be say and what cannot be say? I don't think so. I think that we want a society where the freedom of speech is protected by court and the premier just has uh, have to to do his job and his job is 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 what in the, in uh, in this particular case is to observe what is it saying uh, in the campus and, and as for the rest as long as the court agrees with the encampment and as long as the police had nothing to do with it i'm quite sure that the premier should do something else frederic it was good to talk to you thank you very much right back at you thank you Legal